What's up, Capricorn? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week ahead starting October 4th. I'm sorry, November 4th, 2024. I'm that sort of sidetracked there. Capricorn, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the Astro Cyan deck to deliver your messages, not reading any uh, reversals, just going to cleanse the energies from doing um, Sagittarius's messages for the week. And also just letting you know I'm throwing the energies up real early because I, if I haven't mentioned it in your uh, video last week, I am having foot surgery on Friday, and I want to make sure that the next week's videos are, you know, out to you in a, in a timely manner, okay? So, if you get it early, so be it. Anyway, energies for Capricorn this week. Um, yeah, because I don't know, uh, surgery is early Friday morning, but y you never know. Uh, I may not even be in the mood to want to do any you know reading so that's why i said while i'm got the energy now i'm going to take care of it while i can okay energies for capricorn this week don't forget to go out and vote if you haven't already exercise your right to be heard your voice to be heard and don't ever let nobody say it's not going to make a difference it does make a difference and i'm so surprised that i'm i'm seeing a lot of this energy here with people who decide that they're not going to vote uh, it's really disgusting to me. Um, I'd rather not know you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, first card for you is the Emperor, Major Arcana. So we're going to start off with the control card. Well, you being in control of your own uh, energies this week and not necessarily trying to control or be manipulative towards others. This card represents authority, boss mode, leadership, so it could be in the form of promotion for some Capricorns when it comes to work-related matters. Uh, it could be that you're working in the court system or some sort of, um, could be, you know, in some sort of involvement in the courts, legal stuff going on. Of course, the character here, even though he looks young, still could be a father figure that's um, over on the other side. And he's coming through to acknowledge he may have worked in the court system or served some sort of time in the military. Right. That is the major arcana, the emperor having to have control this week, Capricorn. Very important. Yes. Two of swords is going to sit on top of that. Um emperor and you know this is a card of indecisiveness okay you have to make a choice narrow that choice down to one two things may be presented to you but you have to make a single choice here um again feeling you know just a little bit anxious feeling like you're at a crossroad and also could be that you know you're just out and about traveling and there's some sort of road construction and you get rerouted to go a different way this is my same-sex loving energy card so it's just minor whatever it is just you know decide upon something Make that choice and be done. Up next, now we have the major arcana of the moon. Okay, so the moon is here. First and foremost, trust in your intuition, whatever it is that you are sensing this week. You have to go with your gut, okay? Some of this energy may be related to those who have not voted yet. And then maybe you're, you know, having some sort of tug <laughs> with whom to, you know, decide to vote on. It could be trusting your intuition helping you here. Just go with it. You know, whatever your gut tells you or the inner voices, then, you know, that's your personal energies trying to help guide you to make the right choices for yourself moving forward. Cycle of energy is moving away from you, Capricorn. A new cycle of energy is about to open up. For, uh, the other thing about the moon is about secrets and revelations that may come to you that, you know, you weren't privy to or they were hidden from you. Likes and crushes may also come forward. Uh, there's an anticipation of a greater dedication or devotion being extended out to you by others or you're about to do that to them. OK, making sure we're keeping track of our emotions this week, Capricorn, because this moon has a tendency to be tricky, sending our emotions up too high or sending it down too low. We always want to strike a balance in the middle when it comes to our emotional affairs. All right. So following the um, major arcana of the moon, now we have the six of wands. So there's energy that you're moving towards that is positive or it's moving towards you. Now, this card is regarded as victory and success. And of course, you can attach that victory and success to anything that you got going on for you this week. Uh, if some of you are traveling, uh, whatever, if it's vacationing or work related matters, uh, Capricorn, just know you're safe to and from. All right. Up next here, on top of that, we, oh, look at this. The Ten of Cups is showing up here. All right, so the Ten of Cups is all about emotional 
equity, okay? The um, establishment of what you give is what you're going to get back. This, of course, you can see the couple in wedding gear. Uh, so anyone could be getting married. This is in the form of celebrations of all kinds. So it could be not only marriage, it could be uh, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, parties, could be just, you know, having an election party or whatever with family members or friends, just feeling good about it. Okay. If you receive this card in your spread, again, it's emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment being achieved. Now that's not just for romantic partnerships that's extended out to platonic friendships, as well as the family. Up next here for you, Capricorn, now we have the uh, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is one of my busy bees. So you'll just have some energy to assist you to take care of whatever it is that you need to take care of this week, whether it's scheduled or unscheduled. Following that, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here is uh, your branding here, the Knight of Pentacles. This could be a job offer, contract offer. It still could be a promotion for anyone. Knight of Pentacles, I regard as uh, establishment of financial independence or, you're, you know, you already are. You're seeking it or you already are. Okay. These people are, you know, dependable, reliable, always willing to come through to assist you. It doesn't always have to relate to money lending. And it could also be the attributes of how people regard and see you, that you're always there, dependable, reliable, and structured. Okay, so there's the Knight of Pentacles. On top of the Knight of Pentacles here for you, Capricorn, now we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so you can see the female piercing through the swords. She's afraid of something. Nine of Swords is always that uh, conflicting energy that could relate to uh, things involving the internal or external energy surrounding you, recent or distant past. This is a card of feelings of betrayals, um, being ashamed about something, being lied about something, someone cheating on you, having affairs, sleepless nights, extreme worry, extreme fears, extreme doubts and anxiety. Wow. It's a lot of energy here with the Nine of Swords. So um, I always talk about if it's not your energy that the Nine of Swords expresses um, towards you this week, then it could be that you know somebody who may be incarcerated. Of course, then it's their Nine of Swords energy. Seeking some sort of relief through any means of, um, you know, it could be in the form of, you know, prescription medication for anxiety, depression, or non-prescription medication where you uh, re Result to, you know, drinking, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, whatever that's going to help you through the days or the nights, the nine of swords. Now, because the nine of swords is going to sit on top of the pinnacle card here, the money card, it could be that someone could specifically be worrying about their job or their financial situation. Okay. I do sense that it could be someone worried about their job or their finances, their financial situation or their financial picture. Then we have the major arcana, the star car, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So what you're hoping for, uh, Capricorn, yeah, what you're hoping for, praying for, wishing for may manifest for you this week. Um... This is anything in terms of, you know, psychic energy. So it could be the release of development, expansion, uh, meeting somebody famous. This is my social media, social networking card. Um, staying focused on one or two things this week. Not feeling like the stars scattered in the heavens there. You should be all right. Very powerful energy here. Uh, dream journaling. If you're into dream journaling, you know, I always talk about um, writing those dreams down. Because oftentimes our dreams have um, messages for us in our waking life. Okay. Up next here, after that, we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the mother of all love. She's nurturing. She's caring. She's supportive. She will be sitting underneath that moon, who is also, also a stronger force, though, when it comes to your intuition. So very significant here of trusting yourself this week the energies of what you're going through or may be what you're experiencing you always have to go with what you feel this is uh, representing uh, female energy of course so it could be the female capricorns that come along and see the uh, spread could be your mother your grandmother your sister yeah, your sister, your bestie, your auntie. Uh, you could be the Capricorn that works in the capacity and working and helping out others. Okay. This again, like the um, 
Ten of Cups here is uh, an achievement, emotional happiness, satisfaction, and for, uh, fulfillment, as well as contentment based on those connections that you already have. That is your romantic partners, your friends, and definitely something going on within the family. Okay, so that is the Queen of Cups. On top of the Queen of Cups, now we have the Three of Pentacles. So this is, could be a small pay raise for some Capricorns this week. Maybe this, uh, uh, I oftentimes read the Three of Pentacles as a completion of a project, whether it's involved with collaborating with others inside the workplace environment or outside and you've done something on your own. Uh, still would be uh, some sort of congratulations, uh, job well done, a thank you coming through. Uh, the energies are going up on the 4th, so by the 6th. Uh, there could be some of that energy coming your way, some sort of recognition, all right? Still, I regard the Three of Pentacles as being introduced to somebody new, as well as workplace uh, affairs and attraction. Sits on the relationship card, the Queen of Cups, so that might have some sort of significance out there for someone. Up next now, we have the King of Cups. He's the father of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. He has a big heart. This is your male energy. So this could be uh, your father, your grandfather, your husband, your boyfriend, your uncle. Uh, he's very nurturing. He's caring. He's supportive. He's also intuitive. So you got three cards here, Capricorn, that represent trusting yourself this week when it comes to the two of swords energy that you have to make a choice or decision about something, knowing that whatever the choice it is, is going to be the best choice for you. Okay. So that is the King of Cups. On top of it, well, next to the King of Cups here, now we have the Liberation card. This Liberation card would be, um, <sighs> the Liberation card would be the Awakening card, right? Judgment. So what's hidden in the dark may come to the light for you. Um, some things that you discover about yourself that you didn't know before. Uh, could be positive or negative or some things that you discover about others that you didn't know before. That too could be positive or negative. But there is an element of spiritual uh, protection for you this week, Capricorn. And also because the word, the card says liberation, just feeling liberated this week. You know, it's a lot of it's female energy. So it could be anything connected to you or anything connected to what's going to happen next week in terms of, you know, females being liberated. I just have to throw that in there. Okay. All right. So um, just making sure, because this still would be, no matter how liberated you think you are, making sure that you just maintain a positive aspect of your own energies in terms of connecting with other people, be positive with them, because this card still represents karma. What you put out there is what you're going to get back. So whether it's positive or negative, it always, karma always comes back to repay. So be careful. Then we... Um, have up here next the synergist okay this is the um magician synergist here two sides that i always read with the magician uh the first positive side here capricorn is about manifesting what is it that you want what do you desire well if you are in the form of prayers mantras affirmations throw that energy out there to the universe and just leave it okay and just make sure that you stay in alignment with that energy but you don't have to keep thinking about it the thing that is uh, most important about manifesting whatever it is that you want to occur or happen in your life is having faith and just knowing that what you put out there is going to come to you, right? The negative end here, you can see her looking out from under her glasses, piercing eyes. She's not to be trusted. This is still a card that I will read on the negative end as strangers, family members or friends who are into nothing more than controlling, manipulating and extracting. You have both the moon and the queen of cups to help you with that intuition as well as the king of cups because he's good in terms of uh, helping you process your intuition. So trust in yourself, be discerning, know who is, you know, in your corner and who is just trying to take advantage of you. All right. So that's going to land on the judgment card. Last card I have for you, uh, Capricorn, we're going to finish off with the seven of swords. Seven of swords is typically read as the... Um, if I did mention it before, the Nine of Swords energy, even though it's powerful in terms of its impact of energy, you can still look at the Two of Swords that sits on top of the Emperor here as a reduction of having to deal with the Nine of Swords if you had to deal with that type of energy. Also, the Seven of Swords can be viewed the same way. 
Normally, I regard the Seven of Swords as those people from your past that you have disconnected from. So it could be exes, family members that you have just, you know, dis discommunicated from or friends you disconnected. These people, someone is possibly lingering around, but you've got all these other <laughs> helpful cards here to help you know the difference. The King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Moon. These people are still conflicted. They will not add anything or bring anything new to you, to your table or the plate. They're just going to create more chaos. Just know that they have not resolved any conflicting energies within their own self. The other thing is material things I always read that could come out of these seven of swords. And if you thought you, um, you know, lost something, misplaced something, forgot about it, it, that energy always seems to resurface with the seven of swords. All right. So this is what I have for you this week. Uh, Capricorn, again, it's just me interpreting these uh, messages here for you. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Uh, please like the video, share the video. Always come back to get more of these messages from me. Don't forget to go out there and vote if you haven't already. It's going to be an exciting, crazy week ahead. So um, I will talk to you soon. Take care. Ciao.